Christian Parenting. So, Ella, my oldest child, is turning 18. I mean, is this even real? She's turning 18 this week. I literally can't believe it. It's gone so fast. And I'm good, guys. I'm sure I'll cry at some point, but I just love who she is. I love, love, love who she is. And um, one of the things that she is, I love that week seven is how to discern his truth because Ella is so discerning. That is one of her gifts I think she got from the Lord. And she's been like that since she was little. Like she's quick to discern people. And she's even told me some people in my life, she's like, "Mm, keep your eye on that one. (laughs) I'm like, Ella. And then um, I want to tell you about this girl, Audrey, in my group. But uh, yeah, I just, I think this discerning part is a big piece of how do we know God better? Because this is biblical discernment. This isn't like, hey, you know, I think they're cute or not cute. I think that dress is great. That dress isn't great. This is more like, is this wise? Is this actual truth from God's word? Like, is this false teaching? Like that kind of stuff gets, as the stakes gets higher, we want that in our the lives of our kids so that they, it just becomes second nature because the Holy Spirit is in them when they accept Jesus, that that becomes like he's helping them discern. We always say it's a gut feeling, but when the Holy Spirit is in your heart, he will nudge you towards Uh, the things that he loves, the things that he thinks is wise. And um, it's an interesting process to watch for our kids as they grow in their faith. So let me tell you about Audrey. So she is a girl in my small group that I just love. And I'm with her every Wednesday. And she's one of the wisest kids I've been around in a long time. And I was sitting with her the other day and she was sharing some thoughts with another kid. And it, I mean, she has been in some counseling. So you're like, this is like next level wisdom for an 18 year old to be able to share this context and how she thinks about it. And as we're processing small group and processing scripture, like I'm just always amazed by her. So I texted her the other night. I'm like, I think you actually have the spiritual gift of discernment. And she was like, what's that? (laughs) I was like, okay, how do I explain this? So I'm loving that I'm flipping here in our journal that we're doing together through Christian Parenting. It's called A Life of Faith, and we're talking about knowing, loving, following, and sharing Jesus. And these first 10 weeks that we're praying together every Monday, we're just praying specifically for how our kids can know God. And so this week is about biblical discernment. So I can't wait to screenshot this and send it to Audrey. And it says, biblical discernment is understanding something through the power of the Holy Spirit. It means being able to see what is good versus evil, false versus truth, wise versus unwise. Being discerning does not mean judgmental, though it's easy to fall in that. We Christians are really great at that. But it's being able to distinguish the voice and will of God from the noise of the world. Dang, that is so good. Let me say that again. Being discerning means being able to distinguish the voice and will of God from the noise of the world. And that takes practice. That takes quietness. That takes getting it wrong a few times, thinking like, man, I just ran ahead of God and did that and thought that was him. There's also, um, it takes scripture, which we talked about last week, the power of God's word. There was something that was shared in church recently, and I don't think they did it blatantly, but they threw up a bunch of verses and I think it was something I shared with y'all, just some I am statements. And I I said, we better go fact check these. And there were some leaps taken from what they were saying to the actual scripture verse they shared. And I was telling the girls in my group, I'm like, even the best people within great intentions, you kind of have to measure thing up, measure things up against God's word and say, is this this says this is from a Christian website, or this says I, my friend told me that, and she's a Christian. So we're going to just keep pulling and like going back to scripture to say, is that actually accurate? And then asking the Holy Spirit to just guide us in those things. And so I love this prayer today. I think it's super critical for our kids and something that, again, outside of this opportunity with you guys, there was not a Monday in my life that I sat down and was like, you know what I'm going to pray for today? discernment, how my kids can know you through discernment, but let's do it. What a great topic to pray. So let's go for it. Lord, I just want to pause and thank you for the gift of Ella. I'm just so thankful that um, you saw it fit that I could be her mom. Um, I'm thankful for the woman that you cr- have created her to be, that you're growing her to be, that she's becoming. And I'm just thankful for how you've spoken to her and really used that gift of discernment in her life. And I've seen it, seen it grow. And I'm just super thankful for uh, her heart for you, her heart for others, her love of family, her joy, her voice, um, her wisdom, her leadership, 
her steady Eddie <laughs> like personality that just stays so steady. I'm just thankful for the gift that Ella is to our family. And so today, Lord, I pray for this um, idea that we could know you through discerning truth. And I pray that our kids would know this. And so, Lord, right now, would you start just fostering this desire to discern what is right and wrong and evil and and good um, through the lens of your scripture? Would you make that a thing that we point out in our kids and say, I saw what you did there. I saw that choice that you made and you were discerning what was the right thing to do, the wise thing to do as it lines up with scripture. And so that takes practice. And Lord, we thank you that we get to practice with our kids. I pray also for like, that we would have humility to just call out when we did something that wasn't in line with scripture, that we would feel convicted by your spirit to even call things out in our own lives and our family's lives and be willing to say, hey, I think we got that wrong as a family. I think I was praying and felt like God was nudging us to have a redo or to change the way we're doing something or change the way that we're thinking about something. And so you can do this in us, Lord, the same time you do this in our kids. And I'm thankful for that. I pray that you would speak to each of our kids today um, in a way that they would just know it's you, that this isn't like if it's going with the grain, that they would know it's probably of the world. But if it's going against the majority, that they would probably know it's from you, but they would back that up by seeking your word and truth. Um, Lord, there's a lot of messages out there. I'm just confusing our kids with what is their truth, her truth, his truth, the truth. And we pray that they always seek the absolute truth, which is your word. And I pray for each of these kids. I pray they have a fun week. Can we do that too? Lord, at the same time, we're getting them to know you. Can we also just, just infuse some joy into kids that have a lot on them? They have a stressful world. They're seeing a lot of things on social media. And would you just for a moment just infuse joy into their life. And then they see the goodness and the delight of friends and just the safe belonging of family and even their favorite ice cream. I don't know. Lord, we love you. I thank you for these kids and thank you again for the gift of Bella. Bella.